What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. All right, guys, uh, tension is building up in the north. All the um, 19 governors of the north are living in fear and frustration, especially over what just recently happened in Borno State, where um, more than uh, 40 something people were actually slaughtered by Boko Haram. And just today, again, 30 something. Uh, bodies have been recovered to have been slaughtered by Boko Haram again. So there is a whole lot of insecurity that has ravaged the entire north. And these governors have voiced out their frustration. I'm going to play this is a clip of um, Aero Friday, governor of Kaduna State, actually turning against Buhari and blasting the administration of Buhari that Buhari has caused all the governors of the 19 uh, northern states to live in fear and frustration. And again, you notice that uh, the elders forum of the North have asked Buari to resign. Even the uh, Arewa youth have equally asked Buari to resign over what they see to be uh, insecurity. I also remember last week that the Sultan of Sokoto actually voiced out and said that the Northern region have become the most dangerous place on earth to live because of the activities of Boko Haram, bandit and headsmen. And you remember, this is the same headsmen that Amoteko was about to be formed to curtail, but they were against it. So listen to this video. I'll be back. Is All right. Since, 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 Governor, Governor Rufa, it's interesting that you have raised this. I have a copy of the recommendations. Perhaps the next yeah. level is to do advocacy to ensure that the National Assembly look at what you have said is a solution to stopping people being killed in Nigeria. But I saw some kind of frustration in the eyes and in the words of your friend, the Governor of Bernou State. And not only him is frustrated about the killings, also, the Sultan of Sokoto is frustrated. Let me read to you some of the things that the Sultan said. The Sultan said a few days Phil, ago. Show we are all frustrated. I am frustrated in my state. Many governors are frustrated in their states. Uh, we are called chief security officers only in name. We have no control over coercive instruments of state. You know, it, that's it. We are all frustrated. We want are you to be helpless? Able to take our state into our are houses. the governors helpless in their states, Governor? We are. We are almost helpless. I mean, the NSAS protest clearly showed the limit to the control of governors over the police and the, and, and, and the army. Some of us have more influence than others, but to a large extent, you know, you ask, uh, uh, you, you ask uh, the commissioner of police to do something, he, he has to play with the IG. This is, this is the reality. Even though we fund most of the operations of the police, we are not in control of the police. I don't determine who gets posted to my state as IG. And if I give him directives, he can decide uh, to flout the directives. But Governor Rufai... We have all frustrated. So, uh, yeah. Governor Rufai, if the Sultan says the North is the worst place to live, he said bandits had become more daring. And in fact, he said, uh, as far as, apart from the fact that the North is the worst place to live, he said household and markets with AK-47, nobody is challenging them. So if you say there's so much frustration in the governors... Where then do you go to? When we have made representation, you know, uh, to the to to the to to the to the president and the vice president, one of the most important uh, steps uh, which I have written to the president about that he has concurred is the need for the police council to be meeting regularly. The constitution uh, created a national police council in which all the 36 governors are members. And it is that council that should actually regulate the operations of the police. It, it only needs to consider the appointment of IG. It should be meeting regularly so that the, 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 the operations of the police are re tightly regulated by the governors. Right now, the, the council is not meeting and uh, the IG just reports to the president when in actual fact, he's supposed to report to, to the president and all 36 of us. That is one. Secondly, uh, there is a need to look at the disposition of the armed forces across the country and target them at areas of uh, greatest need. In the Northwest and Northeast, we are dealing with banditry and uh, the Boko Haram insurgency, and there is a need for sustained and coordinated bombing and ground operations to wipe out these bandits and the remnants of Boko Haram. It can be done. It's a matter of just continuously doing it, not doing it in one state and then they move to another state and then 
when they when you move to that state, they move to another state. There is a lot of military operation going on. There is a lot of uh, you know boots on the ground, special forces, mobile police, and police on the ground. But it is reactive. It is not taking into account the fact that these bandits must be wiped out at the same time in all the states. Once. Wow. All right, guys. As you can see here, that um, Aerofly has actually spoken the minds of this northern governors you get he said if you listen to him very well he said that all of them they are frustrated and they are helpless you could even see that um in one of the videos that surfaced online how Boko Haram attacked governor zulum of bono state while his convoy was on the move he was attacked by Boko Haram and even recently again he was attacked by Boko Haram but though they tried to they tried to downplay it and said that uh, they describe it as fake news. I mean, the recent one that just happened, this convoy was attacked and several uh, military personnel were actually killed in that attack. But you see, everything in Nigeria these days is all politics. They downplayed it so that it will look as if it appears, it will, it will appear very shameful. You get it? So that is what is happening. So right now, the northern governors can no longer take the bitter pills again. They are coming down now to speak against what is happening. But you see, these guys are all hypocrites. I mean, the northern governors, they are hypocrites. So you see, they're always crying oneness of Nigeria and all of that. But in reality, they have a born to rule mentality. And they know very well that we are not one. That they want to rule up perpetually. That is their plan. You could even say that in the aftermath of the NSAS, what happened? How the NSAS uh, 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 youth were killed. By the military they said nothing about it despite the fact that amnesty international even cnn and even uh, a, a, a private journalist did their investigation and came out with the fact that youth were actually killed and even djs even streamed it live but guess what like Mohammed said it is all fake news but this other one now he has not responded to it he hasn't said anything you see so this is a problem guys this is a problem you know what the northern governors did? They downplayed it and even said the Ensas protest was political, that it was an attempt to overthrow the Buhari's government. And they went ahead to, 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 to actually endorse the censoring of social media, as if that is a problem of the country. But now, you see, when you try to downplay your brother, you get? What do you think will happen to you? The golden rule says whatever you want to do, what happened to you you have to do the same thing to others the north didn't take the killing of the NSAS serious they downplayed it look at what is happening to them Boko Haram killed in fact United Nations even estimate that it was even over 100 persons that were killed though later today they actually came out and retract the statement that it went it was not up to 100 but the guess what happened they were even correct when they mentioned under because today as of today um some dead bodies were actually found in the scene of the boko haram attack dead bodies were actually found so you see here that several people were killed but they downplayed it and said it was only 40 persons and even the military had to come out to say that those people did not get um approval to go to their farms what a bullshit are you supposed to allow boko haram and even an inch of the nigerian territory you see so this is this is it guy what do you guys think I want to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think.